Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so tonight we're tying another trout fly. Uh, so if this is a variation on a Dunkeld muddler. So this is Cullion Inn's uh, Dunkeld muddler. And the difference in this one is that the muddler head is an olive or a dark olive uh, colour. So this is a size 10 B175. And uh, I'm going to use this orange text stream thread to tie my six. Oh, so add the thread onto our hook. Snap that off. So Dunkeld. Uh, tail is a topping or crest, whatever you want to call it, from a golden pheasant. I'll take a fairly straightish sort of a one. Tie it on up on top here. Wrap it forward a bit and I'll just snip it out, pull it off. Breaking materials is something you need to get used to. You need to know uh, how tight you can pull things, how tight you can wrap things, but uh, eventually you'll get the, the hang of it. So we're going to tie in now a gold wire rib. So we'll then wrap backwards with that. And then the body itself is gold. So you could use. Uh, some sort of gold tinsel, uh, but what I'm going to do is use a gold dubbing. So this is like a light bright type dubbing. So I'll spin that on. And then wrap sort of two thirds to three quarters of the shank with that. So hackles, uh, I'm going to use a badger hackle dyed orange, hot orange. Tie that in by its base and we're going to hammer that down the body. So we'll attach the uh, hackle pliers. Generally what I'll do is do a turn or two at the front. That just gives you your block of colour and then travel down the body in as many turns as you want to make the fly as bushy as you want so anything from sort of three to as many as your hackle will allow. Some people like very bushy flies. Now what I would say on a muddler is I do tend to go with maybe slightly longer hackles uh, fibres than I would on a standard wet. It just adds to the sort of water pushing effect of the muddler itself. So I'll just stroke all back and that is the uh, body part of it done. So uh, I'm now going to put on a wing. So I'm going to use uh, bronze mallard for that. What I'm going to do is strip off sort of half a side of a bronze mallard feather. And then I'm going to start to roll it up. So I'm folding it over and folding it over and folding it over at the thickness I want the wing to be. So it's just a series of fold, 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 fold. And I'm going to tie it in quite long. So I'm going to tie it in nearly the length of the tail. Pinch and loop. And then tighten that in, in position. Trim off the loose ends, and it probably is wise to just a little bit of varnish or something just onto the tie-in point of that to secure it down. So um, we're now going to put in a, a little hackle, uh, a, a grizzle hackle dyed a sort of a teal blue colour, like J, I suppose. You can use J if you want to. So I'm going to tie that in by its base. A couple or three turns of our tying thread. Catch it with our hackle pliers. 
And then I'm probably going to put on two turns, I'd say, of this. So one. Catch it, double it back on itself, and tie over the tie in and snap that off. Stroke it all back. So, all that remains is to add our deer hair head. So, we're going to use this olive, dark olive sort of deer hair. Take a bunch of that. transfer it because I'm going to use these tips of the feather as like a fake hackle so I'm going to take that in until it's nearly the length of the blue and then fold it around the shank one two laps of my thread and just let the thread hang and then I'll take my scissors and I'm just going to cut off in front of the eye of the hook so then, when I tighten up my thread, the thing will roll, which I want it to do, because that tightens in the loose thread, because obviously the wrap was much uh, looser and wider around the big bunch before you can, uh, constricted it, so by tightening it, it has to roll. And then you just wrap through the deer hair until you get to just behind the eye. That'll tie it down, secure it, it'll even shorten the front bits a little bit for you and provide you with the deer hair modeler sort of head shape. Then get a few half hitches in under the eye, behind the eye. them in and tighten them in. Trim it off on the fly is tight. So to finish it what I'm going to do is I'm going to take either a bodkin or uh, in this case cocktail stick and I'll take my super glue and get a little blob of super glue on the cocktail stick, pull the materials to the side, just use it to slide off the eye of the hook and onto the head that you've created. You just want a little, little bit into the thread and just the very base of the deer hair and then just stroke it and it will hold its shape and that is our fly tie. So that is a Dunkeld modeler, Cullinane's version of it, so the olive headed version. So uh, if you like what you see uh, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, follow us on Facebook, and uh, until next time, tight lines, and thanks for watching.